Hello beer fans, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. I had an English IPA last night, um, and it was very nice. Uh, I think it's a uh, peculiar IPA. Very nice, I think it's a bit Marmite. It's a bit good, I'm interested in all the comments and coming what people think about it. But I really liked it. And I think it's at the time that I've been gifted uh, from Bateman's another IPA, which I'm looking forward to trying, so I thought I'd try that one today. So this is from uh, Bateman's, this is uh, Triple Op uh, IPA, relatively new. It's possibly quite new into bottles i don't know but it's been available through their state for a, a good few months back now uh, 5.3 percent abv um bateman's uh, celebrate their 150th anniversary so congratulations to those guys it's no mean feat nowadays and i think if a brewer lasts that long then it's testament to how they're run which i might talk about in a little while uh, a little bit this is part of their world hop tour so they're doing uh the brewing beers from hops around the world don't know whether this is going to be one of the become of their core beers i don't know whether or not it's going to be one of um it's just a limited edition one um but yeah i'm looking forward to trying this this is american hops i've got another one which is new zealand hops which i'm really looking forward to because i do love new zealand hops not ready for the blurb on the back i don't want to not yet anyway, I might do in a little while. Let's get out of the glass and let's see what we've got then, shall we? I'm expecting something good. They're, these are a cracking brewer. Really nice brewery, doing some really, really good stuff. And they have such traditional ways of brewing, but the brew such, um, not like, I suppose they are craft beers, but it's, it's with that, traditional that tradition and those old world values which I, I really do like so that has poured a what are you going to call it clear it's dark golden amber color uh, small white head which might be more about my pouring than the beer and uh, yeah do you know what it's got some slow moving carbonation in there it looks good let's have a little sniff to show it So I've left this out, I can't see the thermometer. It's probably about seven, eight degrees. So a little bit warmer than people might uh, normally serve these. So basically I've not got it out of the fridge. That is really nice. You've got that layer of sweet malt in there, then there's fruitiness coming through. I think I'm picking up some orange. Yeah, it's growing. And it's warming in the glass. Bit of orange, a bit of lime maybe. It smells good. Looks good, smells good. Let's taste it. Cheers everybody. Cheers Batemans. Ooh. Ooh. They don't let you down. They don't let you down, do they? It's hot really well. You know, they've, they've not skimped on this. This is what I like about this brewer, uh, Bateman's. Um, I think that new head brewer, didn't they? I think I've uh, had a, a, um, a few um, messages back, backwards and forwards last year, probably. I think I've got a new head brewer. It's the one of those brewers, and I'll always pick on somebody like probably Brewdog as an opposite example, in that they're not run by bean counters at Batemans. They run, the business appears to be, the, the, the savvy business people have been going for 150 years, but I think it's because a lot of it they brew some good beers. But they've got beers they want to brew. And they've probably created those recipes, developed those recipes, test it, test it, test it. We find the product we want. And you know what? It's going to take this amount of malt, it's going to take this amount of hops. We want these really good hops that are out at the moment, or these new hops which cost a little bit more, a little bit more expensive. Or I don't know, they might, they're probably using real hops rather than hop extract. Um, 
know what it's about the beer for them. It, it's not about the. I can't say it's not about the bank, bank balance because it's a family business. Of course, it's about the bank balance. But the brew beers are on the brew. And do you know what? If they make, uh, I don't know, but do you know what? I've got a really idea. If they make like 50p a bottle, they make 50p a bottle. If they make 75p a bottle, they make 75p a bottle. If they make 30p a bottle, they make 30p a bottle. They brew it because they want to brew the beers that they love to drink and they love to brew. And that's what I like about them. These aren't the only guys that do that. I've spoken to lots of brewers who do exactly the same thing. They put the heart and soul and the quality of the product into the beers. And that's what these guys do all the time. Well, like I said, the opposite end of the scale is some of that brew dog. Who, don't get me wrong, they do some cracking beers, but they also do some stuff which isn't probably as cracking. And we all suspect they have like one very, very, you know, almost one recipe that gets tweaked a lot of the time to produce all these different beers. And it is, for me, more about the money for somebody like them than it is the beers they produce and you can tell it you can tell it you can tell it in how they produce the beers and the beers that that, that people like to drink and for me that the, the you, you can't compare them to two different brewers like i said these guys Bateman's tend to brew stuff with um <sighs> tend to brew it it's almost like a craft beer it's almost like um it's almost like a West Coast IPA. It's got a cracking bitterness through it, through the hops. Um, so you could technically, the, 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 the brewing craft beers, um, and there is a craft to what they do. Absolutely, absolutely agree with that. There's a craft to what they do, but they, they, they've got their old fashioned traditional um, ways and techniques, which I really love. Anyway, off my soapbox. So I like the little uh, rant every now and again about brewers and. I like pushing brews are really good. And the, uh, the fact they've gifted me a beer doesn't matter. I've said it about their beers before, even without crafting them. Anyway, um, so um, back to the beer itself. It's hoppy, it's fruity, it's quite citrusy. In fact, it's very, very citrusy. Yeah, getting some orange through again. Every time I say orange, I'm always expecting a little bit of uh, lemon, and there maybe is a little bit of zesty lemon in there. But you got, for me, something like a more like a zesty lime as well coming through. And throughout it all, just a really cracking bitters. If you like your bitter bitters. Um, you feel like you have West Coast IPAs, good beer. Cracking beer, really good beer. Um, yeah, I like this. It's smooth, it's tasty. In a world of samey IPAs, you know, we all just see those New England, those hazy IPAs in the supermarket, and they all taste the same. This is, compared to that, a really excellent beer. Um, I'm going to score it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Manny's Beer Reviews. Has anybody had this? If you have, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Really appreciate it. And let's all, if you like Bateman's beers, who doesn't like a nosy rosy, a rosy nosy, a rosy nosy at Christmas? Um, yeah, if you like their beers, um, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, really enjoyed that. Happy to score that in, uh, a 9 out of 10. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, everybody, enjoy your beers. Cheers.